Spring is here. Exciting. First day of spring, uh, always one of the most exciting for you? Absolutely. It's the most fun part of this job. Yeah, listen to Joe. He says he comes up with the slogan this year, find another way. When you heard about that, what would you think about that slogan? Well, I think that's our mantra all the time. We're always trying to find another way. Uh, sometimes we're successful at it and sometimes less so. But um, uh, Joe seems to get the message across, so I'm all, I'm all in favor of it. What are your expectations? You know, you, you've lost so many players. You've brought in so many strangers. I mean, do you expect to be a, a good baseball team? I expect us to be very competitive. Uh, no different than the last few years. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with you know where you're coming from. When we were very competitive in 2008, the expectations were very low. When uh, we were competitive in 2009, the, the expectations were higher. So um, you know, it's all relative to, to what, as you say, you know what are the expectations? Uh, really, that we're going to have a very competitive team this year. In finding another way, the strength of this team obviously uh, is on your pitching staff, but uh, the bullpen. Big question, I think it was a year ago, for different reasons this time. What excites you the most about this year's squad as, as they get ready to embark on a new season? Well, it's those we're here today. It's pitchers and catchers. Uh, and just like last year, the most exciting part is what's happening you know, with, with, with our staff in place in the major league level, uh, the potentials we have in the bullpen, and then in the minor league level as well. Um, so that's always the most, most interesting and exciting part for me. And then we see how the year, year turns out. You know, one year you'd... 2008, you have an Evan Longoria come up and, and turn the season. To 2009, you have Zobi, you know, do what he did. And last year, you know, during the year, Jaso comes up because it was an injury. Uh, and I know I'm missing other guys, but um, you know, you, you find guys like that, and but you, well, you can't plan on it. The expectation is we have enough irons in the fire here with some really talented people that some good things are going to happen. It's challenging enough with half of the roster uh, made over. You only have half the 40-man roster coming back but yet to do it in the American League East, even more challenging. Yeah, look, uh, some of it's by design, and some of it, uh, things are out of our control, and, and uh, as they say, you, you, that's the hand you dealt. Uh, it wasn't a surprise, so uh, we were preparing for this, and we have been preparing, and uh, the important thing is to know what you look like, not just today, but a year from now, two years from now, and how you react to change. And uh, while it's very challenging, and it's been an extremely challenging offseason, uh, all the preparation we did, and I think the work we did in the offseason, um, I couldn't be happier with. Andrew, do you, or excuse me, Stu, what do you think that what Andrew has done in his past performance and what he's been able to bring in, does that relieve a little bit of anxiety knowing that you've got a lot of new faces in here and not knowing exactly what to expect? Yeah, I, I'm not a real anxious guy. I wouldn't know if anxiety ever plays into it, but uh, I've had confidence in Andrew and our process from day one. Uh, fortunately, uh, other people and the fans and followers have a lot of confidence in what we're doing as well. And uh, not that anybody should or would cut us a break, but just have some faith that uh, you know we're, we're, we're trying to do things in the best way we can. How do you, from your owner perspective, enjoy the challenge of this American League East, knowing what you face and all, all those? Things? Well, it's, it's great when you beat them. <laughs> uh, it, it's you know like any it, it, the tough of the you know the tough of the road in a sense. It makes it more rewarding. Winning the American League East two out of three years, uh, you know, we still pinch ourselves a little bit that it happened, um, and we're going to continue and, and try to do it again this year. Uh, but I think that uh, I'd like it to be easier. There's no question about it. But when you do it, it, it's much more rewarding, certainly. Is it harder to get there when the East versus staying there? It's always harder. To, it, it's just harder. It, every year, so those 162 games are. Uh, every one of them is hard, uh, especially when you're playing the number of games you play against the teams we do in the East and throughout the American League as well. Stu, I mean, you guys have made a point of showing how payroll doesn't necessarily correlate to talent. And, you know, that's how you can still build a team for less money. On the other hand, the payroll cut ended up being around 40 percent or so. I mean, was that more than, than you had anticipated? And, and is there, you know, someone to blame for that? Uh, there's, no, there's nobody to blame. Uh, this is our situation. As far as cutting it, you know, 40 percent, 30, 60, we were we were dramatically inflated both last year and the year before relative to our means. Um, but as you saw, if, if we had an opportunity just a, just a few weeks ago, uh, adding a couple of guys who we thought could really impact this, this year, and that changed, that changed the number again. I think is uh, one thing I've gotten across to everybody over the years to try to give a sense of where we're going to end up. And then the rest of it is being, as Andrew would term it, opportunistic. Um, I, I do think that you know what we saw with the bullpen arms this year made things more difficult, um, and you know, quite frankly, uh, you know, didn't give us the opportunity to spend the money 
or spend money that you know maybe like we would have liked to. But in absence of that, we tried to do whatever else we could around it. We added a couple of uh, we thought very quality bullpen arms, um, and remains to see how they'll they'll turn out. Um, but I, it, it, look, it, the number could have been different three weeks ago if those guys weren't there. The year before, the number would have been different if we didn't have an opportunity with a guy like Soriano. And on a simplistic basis, can you just explain why you did you had to do it that way? Why you do it. Cut it? Well, Size why? of market attendance. We, we we lost a ton of money in the last couple of years. <laughs> you, you can't go on very long right. doing that. And uh, look, we we I guess I suppose we you know I we could have spent a lot more this year. Then the team the next few years would have been even dr more dramatically worse. So uh, some of it is is you know trading guys who you know for for future prospects for guys who you know you're going to pay a bit less and you, you'd like to think the performance is there. But as far as blame, there's no blame or anything. And certainly, if our revenues were higher, if the uh, if the situation were different throughout Major League Baseball, we would have more to spend. I'd be thrilled to do it. Can you spend more? You know, as we go forward, is there a possibility it may go up? Or? You can always spend more. The question is at what it, at what the cost. And you know, when it, it's we we have done. You know, as a society, as we've seen, uh, we all you know we outspend our means sometimes, and eventually you have to pay the piper. Um, you know, it's, this isn't about spending and spending, and spending, and then uh, running away from this team and, and whatnot. It's about having something that can that can year in and year out be competitive. Uh, and do it at a level where uh, you know we don't go to the poorhouse. Is this a cycle that you're going to have to go through every few years? Of course. I mean, that, that's been it's been our plan all along. Uh, the, the 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 art in all of this is trying to time it out as such that it comes together. Uh, 2008 came together with a payroll similar to the one we have this year. 2009, you know, fell well short with a payroll that was 50 percent higher than 2008. So while eventually and ultimately that is what's going to uh, give you the greatest opportunity to succeed, especially when you know teams are spending three, four, five times what you are. <laughs> There's no doubting it. Uh, you know, a lot of it is is timing. Is the new stadium the only relief that you see in the in the future? No, it's it's a, it's it would be a very it would be the largest. You know, certainly what's what's things that are out of our control uh, to a large extent. What what happens in Major League Baseball when the economics are done. Um, you know, whether it's revenue sharing or competitive, you know, us playing in the East, uh, an extra playoff spot. You know, there are a lot of things on the edges and significantly to do. But, you know, obviously the stadium is, uh, you know, when and if that's going to happen would be the most significant driver. Yeah, would, you, would you say that it correlates to the payroll going up? If you get a new stadium, automatically you reassess how you uh, spend the money? Well, it wouldn't be, we would just have more at our disposal. We'd have more resources, so uh, it, it should turn out better, I would guess. Yeah. Is there anything new on the stadium situation? And if, if not, what does that tell you? Uh, nothing that I know of. Um, so it tells me that uh, there's nothing new. I mean, is that concerning that there's where you know that seasons a new season is starting and there hasn't been a lot of progress? It's it's something that's always a concern with me, but uh, I try to keep it, you know, to to one or two or three people. Uh, so it doesn't become a concern and a distraction for the organization. A couple of years ago, Stu, you had mentioned a five-year timetable when you wanted the stadium to fruition. Uh, or I can't say that I recall saying that, but I won't, I won't the, doubt you. Yeah. But back during the Disney uh, my, yeah, my original, uh, you know, the, the originally came in and I just felt that we wouldn't and couldn't be here, you know, until 2027.